In this integration question, we have sin 4x divided by cos 2x as the integrand. Whenever the integrand consists of trigonometric functions, we always make use of trigonometric identities to simplify the question, to simplify the integrand. Now in this case, we can apply the trigonometric identity sin 2x to the numerator. Sin 2x is equal to 2 sin x cos x. Now in this case, we have 2x as the angle on left hand side. So on the right hand side, just notice that angles become half of 2x. Half of 2x is x. So the angles are x on the right hand side. That means if we are going to apply this identity on sin 4x, we will get half of 4x as angles on right hand side. So we get sin 4x is equal to 2 sin 2x cos 2x. Now let's apply this value of sin 4x in the numerator. So our integral becomes 2 sin 2x cos 2x dx. And in the denominator we have cos 2x. Cos 2x gets cancelled. We can write this 2 outside the integral. Now we can take the integral of sin 2x dx. We can also use substitution to find this integral by putting 2x is equal to t. But a simple understanding is also required in this case so that we can avoid substitution. What happens is that integral of sin x is negative cos x. Instead of x, if we have any other angle of sine, in this case we have 2x as angle of sine, then coefficient of x, that is 2, that will come in the denominator according to laws of integration. If we have this much understanding, we can avoid substitution in this case. So even if we have angle as sine 4x, sine 4x, 4, 4x is the angle, then 4 will come in the denominator. Now in this case, integral of sine 2x is negative cos 2x. So integral becomes 2 times negative cos 2x. Now the coefficient of angle of cos is 2. So that 2 will come in the denominator. This 2 gets cancelled with the 2 in front of integral. So our final answer is negative cos 2x plus c.